In this video, we're going to show how to pair your VEX V5 brain right here to your VEX controller so that you can wirelessly run and drive your robot with the controller. In order to do this, you're going to need the brain, the controller, and a radio. Step one, take your controller and one of these cords and plug in the cord into the back of the controller and uh, then take the other side of the cord, plug it into any port on the brain. When this happens, you should see a connection between the controller and the brain that shows up on your brain uh, display screen. It shows like a cord. If that cord doesn't show, it might mean you have a bad connection, or it's possible that the controller needs reset or that there's something else wrong. Make sure that that shows up. We just had, uh, we just connected a controller to a brain and we didn't have that, so that's, that's a problem. Next, you're gonna take your radio. Looks like this and you can connect your radio into any port, once again, on your brain. If this setting is successful, you can go on the brain, click on settings right here, it looks like a wrench, and at the bottom you should see radio type VEXnet. If you don't see radio type VEXnet, or especially if you don't see radio type even as a selection, uh, then you may have a problem with the radio. I'd try another radio or another cord. Uh, and if you don't see VEXnet, it is possible to change it to VEXnet. Okay, so now we have the controller connected to the brain, connected to the radio. Um, at this point, uh, we can see up here on the brain, there's a, a line showing that my controller is in fact connected. And at this point then, we can disconnect the controller. If it works, you should see a, um, uh, a, like it will change from a line to a radio wave um, so that the and it will indicate that it's connected. Um, right now mine is actually just barely connected. You should see a, a more clear light there. If not, you can repeat the process uh, in order to pair the controller. And if that works, we'll be able to run the robot with the um, controller uh, even though we're not connected. Uh, by a wire. If it's working, we should actually now see that even though our controller is not wirely connected to the brain, that if we uh, move the controller, we're controlling the robot. It's wirelessly connected. Success.